In this lecture, we're going to discuss an oxidation reaction of ketones and aldehydes known as the bayer villiger oxidation. Now, in the bayer villiger oxidation, we can either begin with ketones or aldehydes. If we begin with our ketone and mix that ketone with a peracid, also known as peroxy acid, we produce an ester product. But if we instead use an aldehyde and mix it with our peracid, we produce a carboxylic acid. Now, a peracid is basically a molecule that contains a hydroxy group as well as an oxygen-oxygen bond. And this oxygen-oxygen bond is pretty weak and it plays an important role in the reaction mechanism, as we'll see in just a moment. Now, the reaction mechanism for this bayer villiger oxidation and this bayer villiger oxidation is, pract is practically the same. So we're only going to examine the reaction mechanism of this reaction. So let's begin with our ketone and let's use some type of peracid. Let's suppose the peracid that we're using is trifluoroparacidic acid as shown. We basically have a carbonyl group. We have a carbon that is bonded to three fluoride atoms and we have an oxygen that is bonded to another oxygen so this is our OO bond and we have the hydroxy group as shown. So basically in step number one this will act as the base, this will act as the acid, the pi bond of this carbon oxygen double bond of the ketone breaks off and it forms a bond between this oxygen and this H atom while this sigma bond between the O and H breaks off and the bond between this oxygen and this carbon is formed. So we form this tetrahedral intermediate on which we have this weak oxygen-oxygen bond. Now, in step number two, this is where the difference between the ketone and the aldehyde takes place. If we have a ketone, either this R group or this R group can migrate and basically breaks off to form a bond between the carbon of the R and our oxygen. So we're assuming that these two R groups on the ketone is exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which one of these R groups ends up migrating. But if we use the aldehyde instead, this would be an R, but this would be an H, and the H would be the molecule, the atom, that migrates and forms a bond with this oxygen here. So basically for the ketone case, we have this migrates, forms a bond between the R and the oxygen, breaking off this oxygen-oxygen weak bond, and the two electrons end up on this oxygen. So in the second step, we form a carbocation as well as a carboxylate ion. So this is our carbocation that contains a positive charge on this carbon. So we basically have this hydroxy group, we have this R group, and we have the OR group. So this OR group comes from the fact that this R binds to the oxygen, this OH comes from this side, and this R comes from this. So if we instead used an aldehyde, this would be an H instead of our R. We also form the carboxylate ion that is resin stabilized as shown. And in the final step, we have a proton transfer. We have this act as the base, grabbing the H off of this carbocation, and this bond breaks off and forms a pi bond between the oxygen and the carbon, and we form the ester in the case of the ketone, and we form a carboxylic acid in the case of an aldehyde. Basically, the R would be replaced with an H. We also form this molecule here. So we see that the entire purpose of the bayer villiger oxidation is to create a bond between a carbon and an oxygen and to break the bond between the carbon and our carbon here.
So the peroxide donates the hydrogen to the oxygen of the carbonyl group of the aldehyde or the ketone. So this basically is donated to this oxygen at the same time, forming a bond between the oxygen and our carbon. Now the R group in the case of the ketone or the H group in the case of our aldehyde then migrates onto the oxygen, breaking the weak oxygen-oxygen bond forming the carbyl cation intermediate and the carboxylate anion. And the final step, we have a proton transfer from the carbyl cation hydroxy group to this oxygen of the carboxylate anion. And we form the ketone, in the, or we form the ester when we begin with the ketone, or we form the carboxylic acid if we begin with our aldehyde. And this concludes our discussion on the Bayer-Villiger oxidation reaction of ketones or aldehydes.